In this sneak into the office and shoot a Tableau 360 video, I'm going to show you how to create KPIs using table calculations in under five minutes. Let's go. So I've connected to the Superstore data set and we're going to build these automated last full month KPIs. I'm going to start by, you know, we're going to do it with sales, by the way, too. So I'm going to start by right clicking on order date and then I'm going to change order date to show full months. And the way that we do that is, again, just going create custom date and we'll create a custom date. So uh, by the month level. So again, we're showing full months here. So I'm just going to choose date value, hit OK. And I'm going to drag this up on columns. We won't leave it up there, but it's at least a place to start to sort of see how we're going to build this out. We just want, again, the last full month. Let's drag sales out too. Uh, and I'll just show the label. So ultimately, we'll show the last full month of data. And Superstore, we've got data through the end of December. Uh, but to automate that, let's um, just change the date here. We're going to add um, an extract filter. So I'm going to uh, click add here. I just want to add an extract filter and choose order date. And let's do a, a range of dates. And we'll keep, you know, the, the, the last date, the start date, but change the recent date to 5-17-2020. I'm going to hit OK and extract. So now data only goes through the middle of May. And what I want to do is say, like, write show full months to only show up to April. So that's going to require us to create a new calculated field. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to click the drop down, choose calculated field, and just type full months. So show full months. And this calculation is just order date is less than um, the, the date trunk of the max date in my data set. So I'm just going to date trunk, then month in quotes here. So it'll round it to the start of the month. And then in curly braces here, I'm going to say max of order date. That just returns, um, you know, uh, May 15th. And this is a Boolean now. So if I just create that calculation and add it to filters and hit true, I'm now returning just the, you know, up through April. And you'll see that value now is just showing April 2020 because uh, it's the last full month of data. So from there, uh, you know, this is where things will go super fast. I'm just going to uh, add that same calculation of sales on detail and I'm going to choose uh, percent calculation. I'm going to show year over year and right now this is just sort of doing month over month. But all I can do is just double click on that existing table calculation and change all the minus ones to minus 12. So instead of looking back one month, it's looking back 12 months. It's that simple. I'm going to add it to a uh, label here and then I'm going to just drag uh, from columns that month calculation uh, over and you'll see it's only showing totals, the sums. But if I edit the table calculation and then just choose a month of order date, it will you know, then show those percentages. So that's how we're going to create that. But really, we're only interested in showing the last calculation there, the last value. Um, I can do that by creating a calculation called last is equal to zero and then making sure that that calculation ad hoc, um, it, it shows the value. So I'm just going to save this calculation off and then add it to filters as well. So last equals zero, add the table calculation. Then and the filter is select true. And now it's only showing the last month. So all we have to do is format. So I'm just going to edit some text here. Um, it's not showing up on my screen. That's fine. Um, you know, I'm just going to do some light formatting. So let's fast forward a little bit. So just like that, we've updated the formatting, uh, at least the, the text labels. It's the same way. And then I just need to do some tricks with a percentage. So let's do that too. So again, there it is, the end. I've just finally, you know, finalized my formatting. Looks great, and we have our calculations. That's how to create these, not too difficult. Um, you know, we're back, we made a video, and hope to uh, continue to make a few for everybody with Tableau 360. Thanks, have a great day.